All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, the content creators are coming under fire. A lot of people already don't want to play the game, and now we've got DMCA sanctions coming down from Twitch. We're going to talk about all this and more right after this intro. So if you don't do nothing else, like the video. Let's get this thing to a like goal of like 16 likes right out the gate. And uh, I'm going to keep dropping these bangers for y'all daily. Let's get right into it. Eno! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. So if you don't know, man, yesterday, well, the day before yesterday, this is something that happened the day before yesterday. Um, Twitch dropped some sanctions on some content creators. And uh, we had we had this already go out. But we had all that news yesterday, so I couldn't really post this. But anyway, check it out, man. Poor Boy Sin drops drops this on the Twitter, and he says, uh, this is what I come home to. Can they at least tell me what songs, or did everyone uh, did everyone get the same email? And it just says, dear Poor Boy Sin, this is a warning notification regarding a claim of copyright infringement on your Twitch account. Please read this email carefully, as, um, as it contains important information about the options that you have going forward. And not only did Poor Boy Sin get this, man, but your boy Tysino, uh, he got it as well. And uh, pretty much he got the same thing. He just dropped it right here and said, uh, back to playing back to playing my guy's flight songs all stream long. And uh, pretty much he got the same exact joint, man, and all that stuff. So if you don't know, well, let me let me let me let me show y'all one more thing, man, because uh this is probably as accurate as I can get it. It's one more meme. This is as accurate as I can get it. Uh, Twitch streamers getting DMCA for their content uh, left and right, and people and people may lose their accounts uh, over it. And then it's got YouTubers, <laughs> first time, huh? Because that's how we really are. The people that like I've been on Twitch and YouTube for over ten years. I've seen this come, go, come, go, come, go, get legislated. Fair use law comes in, all that good stuff, man. I've seen this over and over, and then it's just, then it then it normally rectifies itself. The first time this happened back in back in like what 2010 or something like that, 2011 when Twitch was like you can't play music on stream. They developed uh, they developed the the platform to where it would mute your clips, not mute your clips. It would mute mute the parts of your stream that infringed upon copyrights and stuff like that. So that'd be like. We're not saying that you can play music on your stream. They never said that you could do it, but they did say that if you do play music on your stream, know that those parts of your VODs uh, that that are infringe on copyright will be uh, will be muted. So they did that. Then they came along with the clips, and with the clips, what happened is clips don't get muted. So if you have music in clips, clips don't get muted. So the music companies. They don't have people touring right now because of the whole issue, you know, with the with the world, with the pandemic. Nobody's touring. The music companies aren't making as much money as them 360 deals that they was putting out. They ain't looking as sweet as they was looking in the beginning. They ain't got no people out there dang touring, touring that nauseam and getting all that money. And so what happened? They're gonna try to get money any way they can. They realize that Twitch exists and that a lot of people are playing the music and they're doing a lot of stuff. And uh, so they sit there and they say, well, how can we get, how can we recoup some of this money? Boom, Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Enforce the copyrights, try to get uh, like whatever money that you're getting off of it and that stuff like that. And that's that's what we are right now. And so they're gonna try to do that at any, any way that they can. Like I said, it already happened on YouTube. Uh, people got struck down. You got two strikes. Some people just deleted their channel, started another one, because you know if you get three strikes on YouTube, you're out of there. So uh, you know, we went through this in the Call of Duty days, doing the different, the different, what the, uh, the different instrumentals in the background and stuff like that. We didn't have epidemic sound back then. Uh, what did we end up doing? We ended up going to get the beats, the recreated beats, the reprod beats, where where people would go and create beats that were very similar to something like like the Migos beat that I used at the beginning. Tell me uh, prices. That's a reprod beat, so that's something that somebody created, and thus I'm able to use that beat. But the the problem with all of that is nobody wants to play intr instrumentals over like a six or seven hour stream. And so, like I said, what what so what Twitch did in response to that was they said to either turn off your clips. But if you can turn off your clips, if you don't turn off your clips, 
they were doing something um, a while ago with Twitch. I guess it was in beta, it was experimental. And what they would do was, if you had a clip that had music that had copyrighted music on it, they would mute the clip. I mean, they would just straight up delete the clip. And I know that because I made a few clips and the ones that infringed upon copyright because I was playing some music in the background, boom, they were just gone. So what's the solution? The solution is either play some instrumentals from Epidemic Sound or uh, you know turn your clips off or the, the other one is to just play somebody like that's either unsigned or independent. You can play some A Boogie, some Don Trip, some Star Lido like I play. You can play some uh, some Dolph, or you can play stuff like that, or or you just play whatever you want to and just just get rid of your clips. Cause me and Brute didn't get them, and we have our clips turned off. And I know we play some music that's uh, like Brute play Bob Marley and stuff like that, but Twitch automatically mutes that part of your stream. And he don't have any clips, so there's nothing to show. There's nothing to show and prove it. And uh, you know, so that's what I would do if I was people. But it just sucks because clips are a big part of your, are a big part of people's um, content in, in other places. Like my boy ATL said, he posts his clips on uh, on TikTok and he posts his clip well, on Instagram and stuff like that for content in other places. So you know, it is what it is. Uh, we got one person that came through and said, "Bro, I just got DMCA and I don't even know." know what it was for because i already uh, it's already been deleted and i'm like yeah i get that you already deleted it but bro you can't like it's just like if they catch you selling dope on camera and you be like well uh, bro i don't know what dope y'all caught me selling so i done already sold the dope like bro you did it though like come on man so so you you don't really know what it's for but you know you know how to conduct yourself going forward my boy jay to the max said if you're a Twitch streamer worried about DMCA notifications, don't worry. You can mass download and delete all of your vlogs. I mean, vlog, vlogs and uh, highlight here. So you can, there's a solution. You can get rid of that stuff and 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 do all of that, man. You just got to get rid of the, uh, get rid of it, get rid of the, the the quote unquote evidence and all that stuff. You do have some recourse. You do have a way that you can go, but. It's just a scary time to be a Twitch streamer or something like that because you really don't know what you can't. Well, you know exactly what you can and can't do, but you don't know what might get you in trouble or might get you get you booed off the platform. Like I said, the best thing to do is to not play the music or play some epidemic sounds, which is copyright free music. T-Pain got a whole thing of beats that you can use. You can use that. There's a lot of artists that say that you can use their music. Uh, do some do some unsigned SoundCloud or something. I don't know, but if you don't want to go that route, you can go the next route, and you can do some. Uh, uh, you can do some people that are independent and stuff like that, like like what I do. And uh, if you don't want to go that because because it's not the it's not the artist, it's the record label that's doing it. Uh, the record labels, like I said, they're just trying to recoup any type of money that they can. The artists can care less. The record labels got the whole machine behind them that are uh, that's pushing to do this. Uh, we got. We got a couple other joints and then we're gonna get up out of here, man. He said, deleted all my Twitch bots and clips. DMCA is too scary. To those upset, um, all is all to, to those to those upset at all the lost combos. Oh yeah, this is one of the guys. He's a fighting uh he's a fighting uh game person. So people trying to learn his combos and stuff, you know, they are um like those combos are gone, they're gone forever. They can't see it. You might want to start a YouTube channel, it might be the best time. Um one guy says, I don't understand how I got a DMCA, a DMCA claim for, for Twitch when I never play copyright, uh, copyrighted music on my channel. Only whatever audio is on the game, uh, on, on the game or playing. And then he comes back and says, okay, I did notice that my Avengers stream was muted. So is that is that game um, filing a copyright claim on itself? I'm lost. The thing is, let me tell you something. It doesn't matter if the music is in the game or not. I was playing, um, I think I was doing, when I was doing walkthroughs and stuff, I was playing, uh, what is it, Mafia? And Mafia had music on the radio while I was driving. And I had to do that whole joint over. This one, my internet sucked too. It used to take me like an hour to upload a video or something like that, man. And I had to do the whole video over and go and mute that part of the video because that video had some music in it from you know because you, you hop in the car the radio comes on and it played more than 15 seconds and i got copyrighted like that's just how it works if it doesn't matter if it's in the game or not that's why a lot of times when i do walkthroughs and stuff i literally turn the uh sound off i turn the radio off all the music off all of this stuff because yes those scores and things like that in these games they are copywritten music whether you know it or not all the scores in video games 
all that stuff can can fall under that and you can definitely get copyrighted for it and uh last but not least man we got this meme right here where it says, <laughs> no sign of dmc email for twitch i don't have one but uh you know it is what it is and then you got your boy aiden he's chiming in real quick we're gonna let him chime in then we're gonna let y'all get up out of here man yo listen up bro i'm driving right now i'm gonna i want to talk about something bro so it's switch bro <clears throat> not switch but dmca you guys are a bunch of money greeting really weird people bro it's weird to me because we're putting your money in your pockets at the end of the day like you got to think from our perspective when we play your music on our streams it's promoting it right advertising it i have so many people in my chat that i play a song what's this song in an excellent one current song what's this song you're making a big mistake and you're actually jeopardizing a lot of people's careers because you got to realize people just use music song requests it's just a part of the stream it's going to make quality lower and it's going to actually hurt twitch's business as well and that's just how it works so it's ridiculous to me that i wake up to this email saying that i gotta delete all my vod all my clips there's memories in there i have a memory of me talking to lebron james in there i have a memory of me you know when i used to average 200 views in there it's just crazy bro it's ridiculous and you don't know which vod that you're breaking the dmca in guidelines. one mile turn right so, onto santa monica boulevard so it's just dumb to me bro and and i just feel really bad you know for a lot of other twitch streamers and i, I wish everyone luck but there's really nothing we could do about it um but that's all i want to say that's my input and pretty much he's right there's nothing that you can do about it this thing is a machine the first it used to be the riaa then they then they start pushing dmca and all this stuff man and that's this is just how this is just how it goes like the whole thing where we're promoting them yeah that never works it was tried on youtube we're promoting your music we're making this this and th nah they don't they don't care they're not worried about that the only thing that they're worried about is their music is being played and they're not getting any money from it that's all that they care about they don't care about anything else and like i said they're like uh I, I, I like i said this just never works um and and they would argue that they are contributing as much to your stream as you are so you can't even really claim it under fair use of none of that stuff like you can't even say it's just background music any of that stuff that's why twitch went the route that they went where they just mute the vod on the points where I mean, you know they just mute the vod on the points where stuff like that is happening but like i said you don't have to mute your vod you don't have to get rid of your vods if this if this happens to you you don't have to get rid of no vods you don't have to get rid of any of that stuff only thing that you need to do is delete your clips and uh just get rid of that because the the vods should be muted uh twitch has the same type of technology going through the vods that these companies have going through uh going through pretty much everything else and while it's not a license to play the music it should protect you enough against the copyright or what have you i don't know of anybody that had their clips turned off that got a copyright so maybe that's the way to go like i said the safer route but if you want to go the absolute safe route just play people that's unsigned and and, and um and independent and stuff like that do a little research or play t-pain's beats all them joints dope man we got avenues you got ways to do it but what I, from what i'm noticing there are certain people and certain artists you know stuff like that 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 just gonna get you tagged every time and um you know just like back in the day juice world automatic tag you are if juice world come up on my channel i automatically whoop gone because i know that that's one of them that'll get you knocked out i think uzi is one of them that'll get you knocked out stuff like that so just know which one's got the power the super powerful machines behind them and the most messed up deals since y'all know who, who everybody deal is and then you'll be good man anyway i gotta get up out of here man what y'all think about it y'all think it's lame that, that, that they're doing that it's not twitch it's, it's really it's not twitch it's not the artist it's the record company t grizzly another one t grizzly say you can play his stuff all day long too man but um it's really it's not twitching nobody like that it's just the record companies they're just trying to recoup some money in these times of pandemic man where they ain't they don't have nobody touring and they can't they can't take their pockets so they're gonna try to take everybody else's anyway let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man and i'm out at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ god speak it don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't buying I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I can give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, Godspeed We good